In this video, I'm going to cover how to control a servo motor. I'm going to click on the icon here to go to my dashboard. Make sure you're on circuits and then choose create new circuit. Title your project. I'm going to call this servo motor. And go ahead and search for an Arduino. Click that once. Click again to drop it into your canvas. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, you can find the servo motor. It's called micro servo and click that once into your canvas to bring it in. And before we get started here, I do want to note that if you go to um, Arduino under starters, there's actually one right here called servo. And we're actually not going to work with this one because the code behind it is a little bit more complicated. So we're just going to start with baby steps here. And so we're going to connect this to our Arduino. And in order to do that, we hover over these pins and you can see that each of these pins are labeled. So this one says ground. So we'll click on it to attach a wire from that pin to the ground on our Arduino. And I'm going to make that black for negative or ground. And then the other one here is power. So this one, I'm going to do the same thing, but connect it to 5 volts. And just remember, you can adjust these after you draw them. And this one, because it's power or positive, what we're going to do is we're going to make this one red. And finally, this one right here goes to signal. So this goes to one of my pins over here. And the one I want to connect it to is pin 3. And the reason why is because when you're controlling um, this servo motor, uh, it has a range from 0 to 180. So we don't send it a digital signal of high or low because we don't turn it on or off. We tell it a position to go to. Uh, so for example, 0 might be right here, and then 180 might be over here. And then so therefore 90 would be um, about right here. And before we go further, when we think of a servo motor, we should think that it's a motor that can only go back and forth. It's not a motor that can revolve continuously over and over and over. Uh, and so an example of a servo motor would be a windshield wiper on your car. It just goes back and forth. Um, another example is um, maybe a security camera that can pan left and right. Um, and then also, let's say you wanted to attach uh, a motor to open and close a door. You would use a servo motor. So again, a servo motor is something that can uh, go um, in one direction and then back in the other direction, but not do a full rotation over and over and over. So we'll click on code now, and we're actually going to delete all these blocks. And so we covered this one right here. This block controls the built-in LED. This one allows us to choose a specific pin from 0 to 13 and adjust or send a high or a low signal. This one allows us to only control specific um, uh, uh, analog pins, um, the ones with the waves in front of them, uh, to be a specific number. The one we're going to use today is this one right here, the fourth one. And this one reads rotate servo on pin blank. If I click on this, I'm going to choose specifically three um, and then I'm going to set it to be zero degrees. So my goal right now is to uh, maybe set the servo at the zeroth degree and then maybe bring it to 90 and then to 180 and then bring back to 90 and then back to zero and then a loop. So then I'll put in a weight um, and then I'll duplicate this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, rotate servo on pin 3 to 0, then to 90, then to 180, which is the max range, then back to 90. And then I actually don't need this back to 0. Um, but I'll leave it there because when it's done at 90, it'll go back to zero anyways. So this one, if it goes to zero, it's just going to add an extra second there. So I think I'll just leave that there for now. And then when I press start, you can see my servo rotating here. And so that's how you control a servo motor.